Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with some Star Wars stuff. And here we have from CosmicBookNews.com. Com, uh, cosmicbook dot, yeah, dot news. Oh, that's interesting. CosmicBook.news. I didn't realize that. So here's an article from Matt McGlowan, I guess, is about Disney resetting Star Wars. This is a very interesting article because I thought they already reset Star Wars when they rebooted with TFA. Just didn't call it a reboot. Rose doesn't look too happy about it, though. Following the poor performance and reception of Star Wars, The Last Jedi, as well as Han Solo, Disney has replaced uh, has placed the movie franchise on hold. Okay, so this is again, is this old? Um, that's not too old, a couple few days. Um, we, we already heard this, that it was on again, off again, on again. It's like, you know, they're, they're, they put the, they put the tea kettle on. It's like, it's like um, what is that? Hokey pokey. You know, Star, Star Wars trilogies, you know, especially Ruin Johnson, you know. But the movie, you know, we're gonna. You know, I, I don't know what I'm gonna sing. Um, and are resetting Star Wars and giving fans time to heal. Uh, now, now it said they are resetting. So what is that gonna mean? Uh, another. We're just gonna start over at episode one. Uh, news comes as a result. Uh, as a result of it learned of it learned that Disney has now canceled Lego Star Wars Day. Wait a minute. The news comes as a result of it learned. What? That, that's not even a sentence. Of learning that Disney has now canceled Lego Star Wars Day, the, the annual, the popular annual event uh, held during spring at Legoland California. Oh, I do know it's Legoland California. Uh, learned something new, as they say. Um, the Star Wars site Rebel Scum offers that Lucasfilm stated 2018 would be the last year they do Lego Star Wars Day. Uh, when they, when did they decide that? And when is Lego Star Wars Day? That would be nice to know. Uh, in addition, this is, just sounds like a bunch of BS to click. This just sounds like a clickbait article. In addition, the site uh, reports an unnamed, okay, always unnamed source at Disney has suggested that the motivation was to focus, refocus expenditure and limit Star Wars exposure to reset the franchise and all fans to deal. Now, you know, not long ago we had all these articles saying how Disney has made their money back. You know, the, the $4 billion they gave Lucas and look at all. Yeah, that was, that was, you know, <laughs> that was an article for people who can't do math. <clears throat> and then we have this, oh, well, yeah, because it, it is bleeding cash. It is bleeding cash. Um, uh, Solo lost a minimum of $80 million and uh, the rights for toys and stuff. Merchandising is falling fast. People don't want to pay for it. Uh, it's not really working. Uh, in addition, okay, I already said that. Uh, Lego fan site, The Brick Fan, uh, further offers that a reason Disney has ca also canceled Lego Star Wars Day is to shift focus to the Lego movie to, oh, that's BS. That is Barbara Streisand right there. They don't need that kind of resources for, for both of those. Maybe the movie, but nah, there's no way. It is also uh, said... While there could be a chance for Lego uh, Star Wars Day to return at some point in the future, that in its uh, current form, it's done for. <clears throat> I don't really know anything about any, about Lego Star Wars Day, so that is not the on button. That is the on button. That is one thing interesting when uh, in the Last Jedi, when Mark Hamill holds his father's lightsaber, he turns it on correctly. You look at his hand placement on that compared to anybody else who uses that in. Um, in particular in the force awakens this hand should be down here she's holding it like it's a staff uh which i would expect considering that's what uh you know ray's character um has played you know trained well has defended herself with i don't know how much training she's had um but that's wrong for a lightsaber and um that's the on switch and so <laughs> I, I noticed that when I saw that, I was like, wow, uh, at least Hamill knew where to hold the weapon because George told him probably uh, news of Disney canceling Lego Star Wars Day and potentially resetting the franchise doesn't come as that much of a surprise, which is due to the huge failure of Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson's last Jedi. I, I don't really say the last Jedi was a huge failure, but it really pissed off a lot of people. I mean, it was a huge drop, um, definitely. And um What's also interesting is the DVD sales are nowhere near normal. They're like 56% lower than The Force Awakens. So <laughs> uh, in, the, in the wake of The Last Jedi failure, which is sub subsequently, which subsequently saw the Han Solo movie as the worst performing Star Wars movie ever, Disney uh, CEO Bob Iger said that Star Wars movies will be slowed down. It's also uh, known a new movie 
It's it is also known a new movie or franchise thought to be from Ryan Johnson been placed on the back burner or canceled. This is a, a contention. Um, we're not sure what it's been. Now, can I click that? If I click that, is it gonna? Yep. Um, hmm, that's back in August. Yeah, it's got, it was canceled. It wasn't canceled. It's canceled. It wasn't canceled. I don't want to get sidetracked into another article. But this is the re- This lady is the reason why. If she had any real, you know, she knows what she's doing. She's trying to destroy George's legacy. And that's just exactly what she's doing. So don't be surprised. She is not a dumb woman. Uh, while the films are on hold, Disney is now focusing on Star Wars on the Star Wars TV shows for their upcoming Disney Plus streaming app, which no people don't want. Which includes, so I think you're going to get because John Favreau's involved, people are going to l- watch a little bit of it and then they're going to drop it. The I mean, she is in a Rogue One prequel because we need a prequel to a prequel to a bridge movie. I I, I don't know. Is Rogue One a bridge movie? Is it a sequel to Episode Three or is it a prequel to Episode Four? So think about that. Uh, Star Wars Episode Nine gets released in December. Yeah, and uh, no new films in active development. So if that is true, then I'd say this is this is basically on hold. Really, what it really really feels like is they're really holding their collective breath to see if Jar Jar Abrams can do the the a miracle and get the fan base back together. Um, what I hope he does is he just really repackages the Return of the Jedi, um, craps on Ryan's um, movie, acts like it basically acts like it didn't happen for the most part, and uh, and then pe- more people will eyes will be open and they'll be just like yeah, we're not buying this crap. I, I can't wait. Um, let's see if we can show comments. See, I wish I could do a better capture. I keep saying that and I never do. The Last Jedi was not a failure. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever read. If it wasn't a failure, where are the, are the new Star Wars movies? Where is Jedi? Yeah. Um. It was a failure, not financially, but as far as uh, robustness of the franchise, it absolutely was a failure. But, you know, I don't think that's I think that's what Ryan Johnson intended to do was just destroy it. I, I you know, he and, and Jar Jar kind of have and they're, they're in a penis measuring contest and, you know, they're down below an inch uh, each. And um, this is not surprising. Um and underperform despite the fact that it made. Yeah, I don't I think you understand people want to see it. It hated it, and then as a direct result, Solo became the first Star Wars movie to ever bomb at the, at the box office. Disney is smart enough to know that there are serious trouble in Star Wars. Uh, why don't you wake up? Um, uh, boycotting it, uh, which is very unrealistic. The, the more of, uh, like Avengers Infinity War, Deadpool. Yeah, right. Actually, the hostility, actually, hosts, you know, I haven't seen it, but people who have seen both uh, said Solo was actually a better movie. But there was significant hostility towards the fans coming from Ryan Johnson. I think that's what did him. that. And, you know, and, well, and uh, what's his nuts who actually wrote Solo? Um, there was never a movie scheduled for this month. and They took a long time to make it. Uh, yeah, all the apologists are still out in force. Uh, there's one <laughs> there's one on the extent damage uh, eventually the boat uh, entirely began to sink uh i'd say that a complete halt to star wars feature film development over only three years into the is the first new has planned for released every single year until the end of time all of marvel represents a massive failure tfa isn't the reason for this rogue one isn't the reason for this they were both enormous hits and they went uh every box of station then some even solo complete flop but that it was can't really be considered the reason for this train wreck um no, it's not uh, now, and they challenged the entire landscape of the franchise. North Division fan base absolutely loathed it. It didn't have uh, anywhere near. Um, so someone's going to respond, but Empire made less. It's, it's They always do. Um, yeah, I think they are. They're going to wait and see, and they're going to wait and see, and they're going to also see if they can repair the... the um, the uh the, the franchise the um licensing rights that's the biggest problem that's where the real the merchandising is where the real money is made and it is taking a beating the toys aren't selling you're finding um cr- uh, K- not kmart but um walmart and target exclusive figures in third rate bargain bin stores and i don't mean like one or two um you know jeff of wcbs has done videos on this we're talking boxes and boxes and boxes of this stuff and it still won't sell um so i've been a wake-up call for everybody that this franchise can fail um yeah maybe abrams can turn things around i don't think he can um <laughs> if round-headed ryan johnson there's an evs listener right there 
Uh, does anyone think the second house of the mouse would have well, a year or two years? Nah. <laughs> All right. So basically, it's the fans going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's not a failure from a business standpoint. However, it made it. Okay. Wes, his failure is a film. It's badly written. It's destroyed. It. Yeah, it is. And I watched it drunk off my butt. And now I will say there were parts of brilliance, but most of it was just like, just. <laughs> yep. There we go. Always bring that in. But Empire did not kill the franchise. We just have to see what happens le- uh, next. So, all right. So there we go. There's an interesting article that feels like clickbait and might have some good information in it. And these blank spots are where my ad blocker is saying, no, sir. So what do you think? Is you think Disney's really resetting Star Wars? Do you think this is just uh, more BS from uh, the fanboy uh, clan? And um, I think it's just wait and see. And I think if uh, Episode Nine does halfway decently, Everything it'll if that does well, it, it'll just be more of the same crap. Um, but uh, I'm really, I mean, I've been sick of Star Wars for a while now, <laughs> basically, since I saw The Force Awakens and was numb head to toe. But, um, you know, hey, people want to see it, then keep making movies. All right, see you later. Bye. <laughs>